Hello everyone, this is Yana Smakula here at Spellbinders and thank you for joining me today. In this video, I'll show you how to create an elegant card using new dice from Spellbinders and Becca Fecan coming in 2017. I'm going to be using Graceful Brackets, Graceful Damask and Graceful Corners 1 dice to create this card. I'm also going to use Spellbinders 6x6 Metting Basics A and B dice as well as small and large standard circle dies. I'm starting by die cutting base panels for my project. I'm using dies from the 6x6 Metting Basics A and B sets and cutting squares out of shimmer gray cardstock and glitter pattern paper. I am not doing any embossing here, I'm simply cutting those out. But you can emboss these if you'd like to add some details to these panels. For my borders, I'm using gold foil paper and I'm going to die cut two borders at once. I have a border from the Graceful Damask set and I'm going to tape it in place using a piece of washi tape just so that it stays put and doesn't move in my die cutting machine while I do my die cutting. Next, I'm going to grab my ribbon and measure the width of the paper. I need to make sure I leave enough room there to accommodate the ribbon before I add the second border. And once I have that figured out, I'm going to tape the second border using same low-tack tape. I can now go ahead and do my die cutting. Just so that there is a little bit of added dimension, I'm going to emboss this die cut in my machine. And I'm using Platinum 6 today. I'm adding my 10 embossing mat, blue embossing plate, and sending through the machine to emboss. I love the way this double border die cut turned out. And keep in mind, you can combine many different borders like this. Now, if you have trouble leaving the right amount of space for the ribbon, you can die cut two borders individually and then just layer one over the other one and adjust the width of the paper and the space you need for the ribbon. I also want to die cut another border and for this one, I'm using gray paper. I am not embossing this one, I'm simply cutting it. I need to die cut a few more pieces to complete this card. I'm cutting three circles using Spellbinders large and small circle dies. The largest one is being cut out of shimmer gray paper. Medium one is cut out of gold foil. And for the top one, I've got white paper where I've already stamped a sentiment. I didn't stamp it in the middle as I was using a cling stamp and I didn't see which way it was facing. But it doesn't matter as I can align my die over it and die cut it so that it is placed perfectly in the middle. The last two pieces I need are corners. I'm going to cut those out of gold foil paper and there is no need to emboss them. And now that we have our die cuts nice and ready, we can go ahead and start putting the card together. I'm first going to adhere the pattern paper square onto the shimmer gray background square. Next, I'm adhering my gold die cut border onto the gray one and I'm slightly overlapping the two like so. I've trimmed my borders to be the same length as my paper and I'm going to adhere them onto the background panels. To make sure I adhere everything straight, I'm going to use Spellbinders mat and grid lines. I always like to align my pieces following some sort of grid. This helps me to keep things nice and straight. And I'm also adhering my ribbon in place. To adhere this onto my card base and to pop it up a little bit, I'm going to use Fun Foam. I love using this to add dimension and to adhere everything evenly onto my cards. The card base I have here measures 6 by 6 inches and is made out of white pearlescent cardstock. I'm also adhering the die cut circles creating one stacked cluster. I'm using tape runner to adhere the gold die cut onto the silver and then foam adhesive to adhere the white one on top. I'm going to use foam adhesive to adhere this cluster onto my card to pop it up slightly. Lastly, I need to adhere the gold corners. I'm going to trim the ends slightly and slide them under the border and we'll go ahead and adhere them in place. Finally, I'm going to add a bow. I made this one out of the same ribbon I used for the card and will adhere a little embellishment on top. I'm using a hot glue gun to adhere these two elements. I also added several pearls to my project to make it a little more extra special. Here's a closer look at this elegant card using Spellbinders Graceful Border Dice Collection from Becca Fecan coming to Spellbinders in 2017. If you have any questions about this card, please leave them in the comment section below. 
And be sure to subscribe to Spellbinder's YouTube channel for more education and inspiration. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.